Sirach chapter 10 and verse 21. The fear of the Lord go before the obtaining of authority, but the roughness and pride is the losing thereof. Exactly. Because when you operate in pride, that's when the Heavenly Father departs from you. He tells you that. So once the Father departs from you, then you, you basically out there in the abyss. You're nothing. Okay? And then you start making up your own mind. You start, let me just even use this even better. You start what? Trusting in your own wisdom and understanding rather than trusting in the ways of the Lord. His wisdom and understanding, which is the ultimate. You see? So that's what happens. And then eventually, when you get on that high horse like <laughs> Nate was on, <laughs> what happens? The fallen coming. Okay? Just like I said. So, um, just like it says, the, what is it? The, 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 let me read it again. I don't want to butcher it. This is why this reads again. The fear of the Lord go before the obtaining of authority. Right. Because, um, again, as I'm going to say, when you fear the Lord, you do what the Lord says. When you do what the Lord says, then can't anything bad happen to you. But only the blessings can come and the rewards of the Lord comes. All right? So we're supposed to what? Fear Yahweh Bashan Yahweh Shah so that we can receive the authority and not just become any kind of authority but the righteousness the authority of righteousness we can become all right yeah so let me read this again now this is uh Sirach chapter 10 and verse 21 the fear of the Lord go before the obtaining of authority exactly so right now one out of authority as of this as in this time right now you know right now we're serving captivity we're at the bottom among all the nations so you know as i've said again in this time while we're down and out we're supposed to uphold still the righteousness of the heavenly father do you fit when we fear the lord we keep his commandments we keep all of his ways even if it comes to a point in time where we might have to meet temptation we still have to make the right decisions. If you have a job and the job is willing to um, allow you to be a part of it, you know, you got the skills and everything, and the boss tells you, or the manager of that job tells you, look, you know, you got to do A, B, and C. You might have to cut your bid off, or, you know, or you might have to get your VC. You got to renounce it. You can't think, oh man, you know, I don't know. You got to make the decision. You got to be faithful enough to make the right kind of decision. And I know brothers like that, man. I know brothers that have given up certain jobs because a particular job told them to get the VC. And they said, man, the hell with that. And guess what? Brother got a way better job than what he had before. <laughs> that he was um, looking to get. Excuse me. You see? So we can trust in your how about Shmiya was shot, man. In this Western world, we've been built to trust in our own selves, to trust in what other men tell us, rather than trusting in the Heavenly Father. Because uh, the Heavenly Father, He rules over all of His creation. So if anyone knows what is and what is not, it's the Lord, man. And being that we have the knowledge and His understanding, we should be able to as I said, and I'm going to say it again, trust in Yahweh Bashmi Yahweh Shai. Know that He is the one that involves situations, events. Maybe not in your life, from major to a personal. It's all in the Lord. You know? It's all in Yahweh Bashmi. Let me turn it around. It's all in the Heavenly Father, man. You know, certain people, they, they think I'm doing something nefarious, man. They think I'm doing something nefarious out here, man. I ain't doing anything nefarious out here. Preaching the word of Yahweh Bosh Meow Shine. That's what I'm, that's what the hell I'm doing. Alright? In this evil, wicked system. So, yeah. Let me go get another preset, man.
Yeah, so I think we can get the book of Proverbs, but it's four. And uh, verse eight. Now, let me read this. Eight. Let me read this first. So this is our Proverbs one and verse seven. The fear of the Lord is the beginning of knowledge, but fools despise wisdom. Exactly. And that's why it mentions that the fear of the Lord obtaineth the authority. Because like I've said earlier, to obtain authority, you have to have a level of wisdom and knowledge to be in the authority positions, especially ruling in the kingdom. So in order for us to rule in the kingdom, we got to know everything about what is required to get into the kingdom so that when the, when the kingdom is set up we know exactly what to do and, we can, and we'll appreciate it so this is why we're going through various amount of tests in this life under the rule of Esau <coughs> you know so this is where we get in this revival version of uh, the ancient Roman Empire which um, Daniel specified which would come in the book of uh, Daniel's the seventh chapter. So while we're here, we're supposed to keep fighting through no matter what. The Lord, the Lord may um, strike you with some kind of sicknesses. The Lord may um, put you in a situation where, you know, you've lost your home or whatever it is, whatever the hell it is, man, you got to deal with it. Or the Lord might, you know, strike you with a particular birth defect or whatever, you know? Anything, it could be anything. You have to basically deal with it. You have to bear your cross. Because at the end of the day, we're here to prove to the Heavenly Father if we're worthy of salvation and as well as the kingdom. Because we always talk about it, man. All hell is getting ready to break loose in this Western Hemisphere. We always talk about it. So, right now, being at every day's peace, as it was in Eden, we gotta be putting in this work so that we can be all right in the latter end. So yeah, let's read this again. The fear of the Lord is the beginning of knowledge, but fools despise wisdom. And that is the majority, the two thirds of Israel that don't wanna hearken. Really, it's not really their fault why they can't hearken to the word of the Lord. The Lord just blinded them because they have to 